Good morning. It is early, so I am recording this in my car. This is actually take two. They told me to get to the point that I was rambling too much. So, <laughs> the Hermit Cave. That's what this is about, and my car here is functioning as my Hermit Cave in the moment because my family is asleep, because it is early and I'm not awake. Coffee, one sec. Okay, the point, to the point. <laughs> the Hermit Cave allows you to discover what you want. That's what the Hermit Cave is actually about. And in discovering what you want, you discover who you actually are. So the Hermit Cave shows you who you are. And I know what some of you are thinking. <laughs> some of you are thinking, I live in the Hermit Cave, I'm already very much in the Hermit Cave, and I already know what I want, and I already know who I am, and yes, that is all, yes. Um, I would just like to extend an invitation here, like, if it, this is the silver, the silver ray, this is what the silver ray frequency would like you to feel into if you would like. Is there a deeper level of truth to what you want and who you are that you have not yet discovered? I am somebody who has often said, you know, I always know what I want, I know exactly who I am, <laughs> and although that was true to a certain level, the last few months of hermiting, being in a new level of the hermit cave, has really shown me that things I thought I wanted, I don't want. And things I thought I could never want or could never resonate with, I'm finding that those things are exactly what I want. Like, I've had so many experiences lately going like, oh, that's not really my thing, or those aren't really my kind of people. And then I go, wait a minute, but maybe, maybe those are exactly my kind of people, or maybe that's exactly my kind of thing, and I just had no idea. <laughs> and then it's like, how, how did I not know? <laughs> um, it's, it's been very, very interesting being, like, finding out that I actually deeply resonate with things that I had no idea I resonated with. And, like, and I'm talking, like, really mundane, everyday things. You know, my, uh, my coffee here is actually an example. Um, I never drank coffee till I was 30, and people always told me, um, oh, no, 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 if I make you coffee, you'll like my coffee, right? And I always hated coffee. I thought it tasted like actual dirt, like burnt dirt. I thought it was the worst. Um, and then for some reason, I turned 30, and I drank, started, like, I bought coffee for myself and tried to get into it myself, and I started, now, now I can't wake up in the morning without it. To a certain extent, it feels like stripping away layers of things that I accumulated in my early 20s, and I'm, I'm 32 as I film this, and the person I created for myself when I was, you know, going to university, when I like lived in the city, you know, when I was doing the young college kid, you know, urban hipster thing, when, I, when that was my lifestyle, I... I, I felt like I, I solidified my personality at that age and the things that I thought I was into and all of that. And then I'm finding out now that so much of that is just not, not, it doesn't have staying power anyway. It's like that who I was, that's who I was for a little while, but it's not who I am forever. So that's, that's kind of the egoic level situation of this, but there, this, this goes like, way beyond any any egoic experience that oh how do i describe this as i tune into the silver ray and as i have this this silver kind of glow permeating my reality i'm starting to see myself the way i used to perceive myself when i was like 4 years old and i'm starting to understand now that my 4 year old self was still, like, still remembered who I really was, you know, was still tuned into those higher dimensional, like, soul truths, because I remember being like this little, little girl 
walking around like with a little stuffed bunny rabbit like underneath my <laughs> underneath my arm right carrying my little stuffed toy around um, her name was Mrs. Bunny <laughs> Mrs. Bunny was under my arm and I carry her everywhere and I just used to like think of myself as like a little white silvery white glowing light and that I was I and I, it's this feeling of innocence yes but also like deep, deep, deep seated strength and wisdom, like the melding of innocence and wisdom, innocence and wisdom and, and strength, innocence, strength and wisdom all in one. Um, and the more I sit in my hermit cave, the more I resonate with that like aspect of myself being like this... <laughs> like cute little white rabbit glowing like ball of energy but it's it's like having the inner child come forth but I don't feel like the words inner child really does it justice because maybe it's just my own maybe I have you know unflattering connotations with the words with the with the phrase inner child but I feel like inner child doesn't capture the magic and the majesty and the strength and the wisdom of that like the only word I can come up with is primordial the primordial self the primordial innocent strong and wise self and that that is the frequency you can find inside of yourself when you sit in the hermit cave. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's more than just sitting in your car in the morning, um, drinking coffee. <laughs> um, but I think if you find that life is keeping you isolated or keeping you keeping things away from you, it is because you are being driven forward to find that primordial self, whatever whatever your primordial self is to you. And you know, the the more lifetimes you've had on earth, the more time you need, the, like, the more intensely you need to experience the hermit cave so that you can peel all of those layers away to really find your like initial resonance, your initial resonance. And that is the gift that the hermit cave can give to you if you are basically willing to drop things, willing to take, take a step back, willing to exist in isolation so that you can truly, truly on a level that you have not yet experienced, remember who you are. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the end of this morning message. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.